audio, like even if it's facing you, make the audio the camera and see how that works. Um, to see if it'll pick it up. Okay, I can hear you now. Okay, cool. Let's uh, make sure our sound is good. Test one, two, three. Testing one, two. Okay, so <clears throat> this is going on. Uh, this Thursday, July 16th, it's an animation workshop with now? Augusta University. Yeah. Okay. okay, that's with Mr. Osborne over at uh, Augusta University. And then again, this is our art lesson that we have both 1 o'clock, 2.30, and 4 for teens and adults this afternoon. Okay. All right, so go ahead if you have your um, paper folded. These are kind of the idea of what we're going to be doing today. Let's see, I got my eraser. Marker, pencil. Okay. All right, our sound is good, and um, please feel free to uh, share and um, let other friends and family know that we're drawing and giving free art lessons with the Wallace Branch Library. All right, so. I tell my students to always just um, start with sketching light with your pencil light line. And then I might draw a little larger if um, it needs to be clear. But all these um, first sketch lines, you're just getting an idea of location where you are on your paper. So these can be erased um, later on once you use your marker. Okay, so this is kind of, um, we went from shapes last week and forms. And then um, we talked about lettering as well. So I'm just going to place where my eyes, nose, and mouth will go. Okay. And let's see. So you have your face form. You can work on the neck. Okay, and then once you get that pretty much lined up, you can start erasing a lot of these extra lines that you have. It's good if you have um, a pointy, um, I have one of these pointy erasers or gum eraser. You can use that as well. Okay, so, and then we're talking about imagining your story. So if you have a character that you are developing or um, some something that you came up with, a storyline, you can create yourself in the story or 
a character that you um, like to follow, um, you read in a book or you've um, watched in a movie or TV, you can do a short story with that character or come up with your own. So, so let's see the, so I'll probably do a couple of um, different faces. I'm gonna put, put this um, male character first, and then I'll try out a female character. And then when we're drawing, it's always most definitely possible you'll be drawing your character over and over again, uh, different, um, different, different poses, a um, couple of different, um, you know, views. So um, it's it's, um, it's it's cool if you like the character that you're drawing. If not, then you might want to change it. Do um, characters that you're interested in, or um, and then I tell my students also to um, not overwhelm yourself with too many characters just work on one or two that you can have them conversate and you have maybe two characters that are on this adventure that they're on and then maybe one uh, bad guy or um, villain that they have to confront or um, come up against. Okay, so that's one character. Um, let's see, you can kind of see there. So, and then try. So I talked about block letters last time. Um, again, center line. I'm just going to um, sketch out the name. Give this guy a name first, and then we'll go to another character. So you could put in the comments if you're um, working on a character yourself or you're just starting. Maybe um, you don't have, um, you might not have any idea what you're going to draw yet. You can just start sketching out coming up with a character, um, and then I always um, either on a scratch sheet of paper, either take notes and, um, you know, kind of develop your character. Um, what's their origin story? What um, universe are they in? How do they um, come to a point where they have to they have to uh, meet up with um, the other characters in your story. And then so the short story might not talk about all that, but it'll um, be kind of maybe in the middle of 
the adventure, but the backstory or the um, origin always helps to know that the character is either going through the process of learning a, a life lesson or is um, growing in a certain um, through through a certain uh, lesson in life. All right, so this is kind of this character here. Um, so I'm gonna leave this one for now. Um, and this is also the process that we're working on. Again, your um, face or the head starts with a circle and then you add the bottom part, the cheek and the chin, and then you find the location of your eyes, nose and mouth. And then so that's um, basic development of your character. So with that, we're going to do another one for the female or this young lady. Okay, so start again with All right, so you have your cross, your circle, and then this will pretty much just be the face and the head. So we got that, you have your, this is your center line. We're gonna erase all this again later. Okay, I'm going to um, find her eyes, nose, mouth. All right, and then um, there's different ways to draw the eyes. I'll show some examples here, but it depends if you're going with more um, realistic or um, or um, I guess teen or adult versus childlike. So I have this here, okay, and then just sketching everything out. And then once you have, um, get to a certain point, you can erase. And then you can start developing the character. And always, um, I put a circle for the reflection of light and then the center of the eye behind that. And then you add your lines inside of the iris, I think it's called. Okay. All 
All right, so I just um, added a couple of earrings. And then some shadow. Okay. So in the chat, if you want, you can um, put your um, name, let us know that you're here um, with us, joining us to learn how to draw or just want to um, see how um, some different artists draw their characters. Okay, so uh, let's see. Just adding a couple different um, things. I'm going in just different directions with this. So this one, I think I'm going to add a ponytail, like so, and Make sure everybody can still hear me. All right, good. <clears throat> Put a couple of All right, so I think I'm pretty much at a point I can start sketching. I mean, fit, fin I'm finished sketching, and then I'm going to start to ink in. Let's see. And then if you have also, um, you have reference materials, well, um, also, let's see, different, um, like uh, mannequins, um, there's, they come in plastic and um, wooden, you um, can use that to see what forms um, and what shadows are formed with the shapes and stuff, kind of like this here. But um, you can have those available or near you so that you can use that. Something to look at to um, get an idea how the light um, is able to hit the um, object or shape and then reflect light off and then also cause a shadow. Okay, so I'm going to start with the eyes, darken that in. 
and then I will sometimes fill it in. Um, sometimes I'll just leave it and then fill it in later. See, so um, I can fill those lines in later. Okay, and then. So if you look like in, if you look at your eyes in the mirror, you can see different ways that light reflects off of your eyes and use that and then figure out different patterns as well. So if you don't want it to be exact, then um, as long as it's repeated in um, either both eyes or in all your characters, then that's, um, that should be fine. People will know, okay, that's either the artist style or that's um, how the characters are drawn. Okay. Um, put one, two here. And then sometimes the difference with male and female or um, characters, the male will have um, either more chin or maybe rounded, or female might have either pointed and closer to um, the bottom of her lips. Okay. Let's see, I'm trying to find out the sketch. Just make this. Okay, and then her hair will be pulled back here. Um, and I'll add some um, braids again. It'll be start off with lines, kind of either for the design and the guide. Okay, and then you are going to just cross back and forth, overlapping. So, some of, like these patterns, sometimes it'll take a little while longer, but it's, the fix will be worth it. Okay. And then this outer one, you'll see the roundness of the braids, I guess you can do with the ones on the outside. Okay. And then um, pull it into a cup or a cone shape here. 
she will um, this will be a shiny metal piece so reflections will be in the center and then on the outsides so you leave so your shadow or your um reflection of I'll call it the middle. It will um, reflect on kind of like three different sides one here, center, and then on the side here. And it helps to like look at either a soda can or something with metal that helps you determine where your uh, light source is shining or reflecting and where the shadows are. Okay, and then this one kind of flow out like so. Let's see. Okay, and then with hair, um, there's different ways. Um, okay. All right. Um, yeah, sometimes you can just... Um, Draw all your lines, but with like thicker hairstyles, um, you can um, separate them in into sections. Okay, so we have one here, one, two there. All right, now I'm going to add the earring again. Just climb up with different shapes. All right, and then... And then my light source is coming this direction. So um, sketch that in. I could erase that later. But then that way, the shadow is coming down this way. And then kind of go around the form of the face and go like that, kind of even these out. So with this pen or marker, um, I can kind of um, draw lighter lines and then thicken them in so that helps to um because you want to start with thin lines and then add your thick lines later okay so the center is right about here so it's going to come down and then should be at the bottom there and come back up Right there, and then I gotta move this, so make your adjustments before or after. But if you can see the changes you need to make while you're using a marker or pen, then that'll work as well. Okay. 
Okay, and then again, this is a metal necklace, gold or so, and then had a couple of shadows. <clears throat> All right, and then all right. So now, oops, we have that's kind of um, where I'm gonna finish it there, all right, and then again, um, one of the tricks is to make sure you um come in with um, a larger thicker marker or one that um, <clears throat> you can just uh, if you have the same marker then you just um, add an extra layer of outside line on the outside and then this one is a um, small brush marker its tip will bend so you have to be careful so when you push down, it'll, you can um, bend down on the paper and then lift back up. So that's another thing I like to um, teach students. You, um, When you're drawing your line, you start off with a thin line, thick, and then end up with a thin line again. So this brush marker also allows you to do that. So I'm gonna come around and Sometimes it takes practice, so um, you got to just um, work work the brush itself and try to figure out when it's going to bend and where, and then try to go that direction with the marker with the marker itself. But once you get the hang of it, then it'll um, get easier and easier. So I'm just trying to thicken in the outline or the object or the um, shape of her face and her neck and then her hair. So if you don't have a thicker marker, then um, you can just use your other marker or your pen to to um, outline and then fill in. So I'll go ahead and do that with this side so you can see. Um, it's just easier with the uh, brush marker. But you go here and then with this line here I'll start thin and then add thick line or just double it like so and then fill that in and do it again so that all your lines on the outside are thicker than any of these lines on the inside and then that effect allows it to make the character come to life or um, pop off the page or the piece of paper more because um, it's a bolder line that gets the, um, with you um, looking at it visually, it'll um, look like, okay, this is the whole person or character and and then all this could be like underneath um, with hair but I'm going ahead and thicken this in so you can make those determinations with your own character Okay, so this one is kind of like um, 
thin is a point, and then thick is your thick bold line. Okay. Okay, again, let me know if you're um, able to draw with us. Um, put in your um, name or um, or just um, have any questions, you can put it in the comments box. And then um, I'll allow, oh, um, if you would go ahead and um, share this as well, any aspiring artists that your friends or relatives, um, let them know that we're drawing characters today. And then the hair is behind this earring, so I can thicken this in as well. Doesn't have to be as thick, but this will um, give it a little um, dimension, basically. All right, and then her chin, I'll go ahead and the bottom of her face, I'll go ahead and darken some of that in as well. Okay, we used, um, was it cross-hatching um, last time, so just, um, I'm trying to remind us to um, have kind of like a cylinder uh, shape um, for the neck, so everything here will be hit by the light, and then back here is kind of you have your lines that are going up and down and then you slowly lift off the page as well as um, separate the lines a little bit more and then on this side do the same thing you start off close and then you go further away until it's right towards the center and then you're um, Cross hatching will do the effect of a grayscale. Again, you can do that in the hair portion. Um, the light is hitting up here, so I'm going to cross hatch here and then here. All right, and then again, cross hatch. Like so. All right, and then I'll erase the um, erase these pencil marks. Okay, so let me see. Um, you know, make sure that the um, the ink is dry before you start erasing so it doesn't smudge. So those are our faces we worked on today. Now we're going to start um, creating the body. All right, so we'll add the body. Um, so we'll go back to this here. And we will use this kind of just as the shape or um, forms, I'm sorry. Um,
Here, let's look at, I'm going to show a few, few um, photos of faces, cartoon faces. And these are different styles. So some are more detailed than others. And then um, you can always add more details later. So that was just a couple examples. Um, let me see. So I have some more of a cartoon, cartoonish or um, manga. So this one is a cartoon character. Um, her eyes are more exaggerated, larger, and she's up. Uh, has Afro puff for her hairstyle. And this one I drew earlier. Again, larger eyes, more cartoonish. Let me see if I can. Add. Okay. And then this one. You have all your own sketch lines. You erase those. Wins. Um, still large eyes, cartoon character. Um, okay, so I thickened in the um, shape of the head, and then you can always um, create the pointy, um, sorry, the line, the brush line, which is thin, pointed line, and then thick. And then thin again. And then so adding your thick and thin lines will add a little bit more character to your drawings. All right. And let's see. So this is an example of a cartoon character and with that I sketched out the character's um, form or shapes first, again like the circle and the cross in the head and then add your um, body shape and then for the joints and for the hand just drew circles first where those will go and then again for the knee and for the feet more cartoonish more um kind of rounded bubble shoes so <clears throat> with this character going to um, draw more on um, form so some of the shapes you can use is this triangle facing down circle on the side um, let's see Okay. 
just sketch some of that out. Um, there's also a couple of books that you can um, either check out or purchase. I don't know if um, Wallace might have this one, but it's the um, anatomy of, for the artist. And then it kind of goes into the skeleton and the nervous system, the muscles, mo mo muscle system, um, muscular system, sorry. and uh, different things like so. But that's another good um, one to use, or like I said, um, if you have the um, mechanical um, mannequin, I'm sorry, if you have that mannequin, then you can use that as well. All right, so. All right, so then, let's see. Just um, sketching in the shirt. And then uh, once you have, again, the basic structure, um, more or less, um, when you line up So once you um, get most of the form, you can start erasing. The shirt will be covering his waist, so we'll get that. And then with the pencil, I'm going to leave some of this left because some of the shadow or folds will be. coming through the shirt okay. and then he has um a pair of jeans um, and then it always helps to um sketch in like circles for your knees that will give you 
idea where the fold and shadows will be as well. Make sure these are lined up. Okay, so now um, I'm going to erase some of this here. And then also um, with the comments, um, you can ask like, um, or, or let me know what um, parts you're having problems like the fingers or the feet or um, different parts of the face maybe. So you can um, ask those questions as well. to um, do another drawing with, with the um, feet. I think I um, need more space on this one. Anyway, I'm going to erase this here. Okay, so pretty much got to a point. I'm going to start outlining. And then I'm going to go ahead and Okay, so you kind of look at either pictures or, um, yeah, photos or, or reference pictures, see how different folds are until you get an idea where you want to put your um, folds and creases and um, in your shadows, basically. So.
Okay, so let's see. And then the creases I put, sometimes I'll add an extra fold. So it'll be like, instead of it realistic, it'll be more, um, I guess on the cartoon side. And then you come, so like right here, extra bolt, and then um, the uh, the neck, the neckline. Uh, what else? And, and then also instead of making it um, curved or round, I'll sometimes sh make sharp, sharp jagged edges. And it all depends on um, either the character or the story. And then again, your shadow, like so. Have a um, logo on his shirt. So you will use your, um, you know, you're developing your own style when you're drawing your character. All right. Good afternoon. How's everything going? How's it going? Glad you can join us. Um, we're doing a couple of cartoon characters. And this program is called Imagine Your Story. So it'll be cool if you can draw your um, yourself as a character. It could be a superhero or a sci-fi cowboy. Um, basically, what if, and then you finish the sentence. <clears throat> so this is one that characters that I've been continuing to draw. This one is also here. Uh, we did faces earlier, and let me see, she's probably a warrior princess. I'm going to touch up this here. Let's see. So if you were a character, what would you be and where would you be traveling to?
All right. Let's see. Okay, now we're going to go down here again. Um, once you get your like your um, outline, you sketch it out. You pretty much have an idea how your character is going to look. Then you can. Um, Start adding your details, your shadows. It's all in steps and in layers. Um, so you want to and then depending like I'll do some of my details in markers, others I'll go ahead and um sketch it out first so I'm going to give him kind of some baggy pants and add more creases to him to his pants and just um Play around. Um, don't have to be exact. And um, then you can make your changes. So the knees are going to be. Erase the circles. And like so, let's see. Okay. Can I go back here? All right, so if it's a little too, if it's a little too baggy, you know, I'll bring it back down a little bit. So I'll just, I'm going to think about that one. I'm going to go ahead and thicken these lines here first. Uh, let's see. Let me use this, um, this brush pen. So your styles might change a little bit sometimes. That's fine. Just um, it's what you determine that you like. And then. But some people stay with one style. That's fine as well. People can um, notice your work that way sometimes. But um, go ahead. If you just joined us, you um, grab a piece of paper, a pencil, marker eraser and so on and then make sure if you would please share let other folks know you are that we're all drawing and just chilling and they can also join us and draw their own character
And you can also put in the comments um, what you are drawing or what do you like to draw. And um, if you have any questions or you have um, need some help with drawing hands or feet or um, some part of the face. You can also put that there. And let us know you joined us. Okay, so let's see. In a few more minutes. I think that's about it. I'm going to let me go in. Add a little bit of soul. Okay. Go back here. Uh, see. Let's go. Me, yeah, I'll show a couple of other a couple of other artwork that. Give you an idea of um, what we're using. Let's Now, so until um, just keep practicing with the cloth folds on jeans and shirts and stuff. Uh, All right, so that's that. I'm going to add a little more shadow. 
So here again with the lettering, I'm gonna outline it first. Always uh, make sure you put, or you come up with the name of the character or title and don't just draw a character, come up with a storyline for him, him or her. And then you want to come up with a style of lettering. that might suit or work with the character. It's like a identity branding. Um, it's, Cause once you come up with um, lettering you can you can keep it or change it but um but to keep your um title or your book cover consistent sometimes we'll use the same lettering over and over and keep it consistent so now we're um, adding shadow to the lettering. All right, I see um, Mr. William, you shared to uh, maybe hopefully as artist, Trenton Munsell, cool. Appreciate that. And we're pretty much um, just hanging out and drawing comic book characters. Um, if you draw or like to try to draw, you can join us, grab a piece of paper, pencil, pen, and marker, and just come up with a story and a character or you want to draw yourself, that would be cool. Um, and then just chime in or put in the comments box if you have any questions or if you want to um, comment on something. That is cool as well. Let's see. All right, so let's see. We have got a few more minutes. Right now I'm going to, um, well actually I'll do um, 
three D. Uh, what do you call it? Make it kind of pop out. Three D block lettering style. Something like that. Okay. So now, I guess I'll let me, let me outline all this here. So again, this uh, brush pen, um, if you, if and when you practice with it, you um, can make your thick lines and your thin lines depending on how much pressure you push. So we got to practice and work with it and then kind of go to the same direction. Um, the brush, the opposite direction of the brush, basically, if I'm pointing the brush away and I go the opposite direction, then it will make a smoother line, just like a paintbrush. start you just lightly touch the paper it's a thin line and then push down further further and get your thick line and I'm gonna just finish it with this here Kind of um, touched on this last time, but again, the vanishing point is somewhere around here, and that's where all of the um, 3D or dimensional lines will vanish when and if you um, come to that point. But that will be behind or in the distance, so you don't really see that. And probably there's like a light source behind as well. So with that, you can go um, closer and then eventually uh, further away. Again, turn the page a little bit closer, further away, and closer, further away. Just kind of keep it consistent. Um, and then practice also um, learning how your hand, your fingers, and your um, motion of your wrist so that way you can turn the paper in that direction or know that you can only go so far turned with your wrist if you're trying to draw a certain line. And then again, close further, further. Okay. Okay, so it looks like there's sort of like um, some kind of light behind, coming from behind, and then it's hitting the bottom of the letters. 
and just um, kind of like so. All right. So these are some of the examples we have so far. And then um, I'm going to close it up for today. Um, we'll come back next week around 2.30. Uh, let's see. Again, this is Wallace Branch Library. Uh, phone number is on the screen and email address if you have any questions or you want to um, check out or pick up or order a certain book. Um, maybe something dealing with art and how to draw. Appreciate you tuning in and um, joining us today. And hopefully we'll see you again next week around 2.30 for the teen edition of Drawing Together with Art the Artists. And everyone have a great day and have a great rest of your week. Thank you. Bye.